Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you before it gets out of here a 2014 Dodge Challenger Redline Edition. Now I'm waiting for it to get detailed, so it's not exactly clean right now, but it is going to be out of here pretty soon. So I wanted to do a video on it before it left so you can see what it's all about. You see, this one has the nice red stripe in the middle, it does have the sunroof. fog lights now this is pretty cool the um, it has the red line around the rim there which it looks like it has like a I know it's dirty but it's kind of like a, a hematite kind of looking wheel and then a red line around the edge Everything else is black on this vehicle. Now this vehicle does have aftermarket tinted glass here in the front, but um, other than that, it's pretty much as if you were to buy one. Now this one does have the uh, V6 in it, so it's an SXT Redline. It does have the backup sensors dual exhaust this wheel's a little bit cleaner than the other ones let's go ahead and hop in actually let me before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and start it up it does have remote start And I'm going to show you that it does have a proximity key. Here's the key here. Before I do that, I'm going to open up the trunk. You can see that it's got plenty of room here. And those seats do fold down in case you need some more room. And I can put my key in my pocket put my hand here on the handle and it unlocks the door so I don't even have to have the key in, in my hand it does have heated, heated side mirrors here's the inside of the front door you see it's got a pocket there at the bottom and then your window controls door lock controls the side mirror controls it does have automatic headlights power driver seat and check out the seats it has like a retro look to it classic muscle car look same thing with the back seats see their black leather white white stitching in them now since I used a remote start I still have to push this button to turn everything on so now everything's turning on all right so here's the steering wheel you've got your cruise control settings here paddle shifters on the back left and right you got a volume button on the back of the right steering wheel change the stations on the left side so turn the volume down now right here you have a, this does have Bluetooth to where you can pair your phone and answer it right here with this button it does have voice recognition as well you have these buttons here that correspond to this menu in the nice white gauges here it has like a sporty look uh, right there where you see, I don't know if you can see it, it's flickering because of the camera, not because it's flickering in real life. 53 degrees outside, facing south. So I'm going to push the menu button here. And um, kind of scroll through some stuff. Just so you can see 0 to 60 time. Um, best time. showing the best time okay let's go back out of that vehicle speed vehicle info let's see speed let me go into info tire pressure so there's not a whole lot of options in there but it does have some pretty cool ones 
all right now there's your uh, windshield wiper controls and stuff right there now this one does have uh, navigation has a hard drive you can put files on the hard drive using this USB port right here or you can open this up and put a CD in the top it does read DVD ROMs too plays mp3s Windows media player and also JPEG I guess you can display pictures on the screen as well hadn't tried it and there's your voice recognition buttons there it does have auxiliary input right here it has automatic climate control to where you can just put it on automatic and your set your temperature and it'll pretty much do the rest heated seats here in the front and it does have a sport button which um, a little bit of debate on what that does but when I push the button and I'm driving it kind of it makes the in the transmission rev a little bit higher between gears and has like a you know kind of when you let go of the gas it um, you know kind of revs up a little bit instead of kind of holds on the transmission kind of hold on to the engine more that's where I experience it when I push the button um, you know I don't really have an exact answer on the sports but the sports the sport button there now the um, Heated seats here in the front, the controls are there. You got a little pocket, power supply, there's your shifter, cup holders, pocket right there. Armrest is here, opens up. You have a USB port as well as a power supply and a nice big pocket there. It's pretty cool, it says Challenger there on the dashboard. There's the glove compartment. There's the seats. Uh, right up here it has auto dim rear view mirror tap lights here place to put your sunglasses there and this one has a sunroof so I'm gonna open that up so you can see what it looks like and the controls for that are right here I'm gonna go ahead and vent it up I can close it I can open it like so I can close it pretty awesome and then when you don't want to use it you got the shade right like that Alright, let's look underneath the hood. Three point six liter BVT engine. It's got almost three hundred horsepower. The guy that drove this, um, we drove it back from another dealer. He thought it was a V8. He didn't realize it was only a V6 because it has so much power and it has a pretty good sound to it. Alright, there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. My phone number and email address is in the description. See you next time.